Monsanto, producing more, conserving more, improving farmers' lives. That's sustainable agriculture. More at producemoreconservemore.com. There's no denying that the role of males in the household has evolved. But for retailers to focus all their energy on men is a mistake. Don't overlook women. Research over the past few weeks from Nielsen, Pew, and the Private Label Manufacturers Association confirms that while the male role is changing, women are still a dominant force, not only in the house, but also at work. According to Nielsen, women made 72% of trips to dollar stores and mass merchants in 2012, as well as 69% of trips to super centers, 68 to drug, 63 to supermarkets, 61 to wholesale clubs, and 43 to convenience and gas outlets. Women also spend more money per trip than men do. Nielsen specified that women drive the larger planned stock-up trips and outspend men by $14.31 per supercenter trip and $10.32 on every supermarket trip. When it comes to advertising, television and social media are important. Nielsen states that women 18 and older watched 179 hours, 20 minutes of TV in the fourth quarter of 2012, plus more than 15 hours of time-shifted TV. They spent more than seven hours on career shopping and social media sites and spent more than five hours on their cell phones. And these figures have all grown from just a year ago. A recent Pew report entitled Breadwinner Moms emphasizes the multiple roles of women in the household. Here are some highlights. Mothers are the sole or primary provider in 40.4% of U.S. households with kids under the age of 18. Women comprise 47% of the U.S. labor workforce. Among married moms, the rate was 65% back in 2011. Now, the share of married couples with children in which dad is the breadwinner and mom is the homemaker has fallen from about 70% in 1960 to just 31% in 2011. Among married couples with children, total median family income is highest when the mom, not the dad, is the lead provider. That's $79,800 when mom earns more, $78,000 when dad earns more, and $70,000 when both earn the same. Married moms are increasingly better educated than their husbands are. 23% in two-parent families today, and this ties to their rising economic empowerment. So while it may be important to consider the evolving role of the male, women are still taking the lead and should be the ones on whom most efforts are focused. But don't forget about the guys as well. The Lemper Report uploads right here three times a week with the information you need to stay ahead of the trends. For more, just visit thelemperreport.com.